our Odom. What's up, girl? How you feeling? Uh, we were just we just came in on our conversation as sativa and indicas because I'm a sativa person, but technically, you know, when you get into the weed weed nerd shit, it's not really sativa and indica. It's what the terpenes are. Yeah. And I know you just made your own strain and shit, so I want to get into that. Yeah. But um, what are you typically like? What are you typically smoking on? Indica. From what I know about weed, from what I know about bud smoking and shit like that, I don't know about. Said you feel like a you feel like you feel it right so they kind of felt like the surge because it's more like a sativa. yeah it's kind of like balance though you'll feel you'll find it being balanced but they made a phenotype with like a lime and it's like super super up but this is kind of like the balance that's why I want to start with this and then figure out what I want to add to it because I want the consumer to obviously like it and most consumers do lean towards wanting to be down but I don't know why because I don't want to be in the couch <coughs> I'm like, I don't want to be down here. I want to be up and like having fun and talking to people, you know? I can't do that on it. I, th I, think I, I think I might feel a little bit on that. I think I might come out with a sativa. Because if I'm thinking about it, if I can be high, be alert, still be fun, like, <laughs> shit, you know? gotta be good for business, right? right? Okay, so you gave me some of yours, which is, okay, so we got Odom Cannabis or Odom Canna. So tell me about it. When did you start the brand? How did you start it? Um, started like what, December, late December. So brand new. Yeah, always had a passion for marijuana. Um, well, the passion to get to, to make money off of marijuana came from because I was suspended from marijuana twice. Okay. And the second one was my free agent year. So I think it hurt me in my second contract. You know what I'm so I lost a lot of money. Gotcha. Like, I know how the NFL has more lax rules with marijuana. No, the Does NBA, the NBA have it or no? The NBA doesn't test They don't the tolerate it all. But they don't test the marijuana. Right oh, they don't test. Yeah, no. Okay, nice. All right, so we got gelato. What other flavors do you have? I got cereal milk. Cereal milk? Yeah. Nice. I, can't, I don't think I got it in here, though. But you got a bunch of merch in there? Just a bunch of stuff? So I wanted, I wanted to give it out. You know what I'm saying? Get my name out there. Okay, so I want to talk about is it late? The late show? The late show. The late show. Okay, so when did you start a podcast? Um, that was this season. Uh, my co host, Aaron Cohen, he got in contact with me and he said he wanted to do a Laker podcast. He already had like a Laker following and shit like that. So I was with it. Okay. It's doing pretty good. Do you like, like, is, is that your first podcast or like first time doing nah, a talk my, show for yourself? Yeah. Okay, how do, you, how do you like it? I like it. I mean, it's easy because, I mean, I can watch basketball every day. Right. I can't go home to watch basketball as soon as we get done from here. <laughs> so, watching the Lakers play and then talking about it. Is, right. Okay, so two time NBA champ. <laughs> My rock ain't as big as y'all's, but. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I, when I started the brand, I really wanted to like break the stigma in cannabis because, like, I'm from Jersey and I used to get arrested for weed and, like, yeah. it was just dumb it's to crazy me. Too. You know, it's dumb. That's what was like, that's what made me, like, love, fall in love with LA. That it was, like, more open? Yeah, because it was legal. Right. You know, you don't have to hide from it. You have to hide on the corner and shit like that. I started getting more into like the healing effects of it though, as I started interviewing people that literally told me like they came clean with cannabis yeah. or you know they replaced this with cannabis. So yeah. I was wondering if that was something that um, you well, used as far I mean, as like well, a recovery. Healing, I think yeah. I know marijuana keeps me away from all the substances. You know what I'm saying? And I wanna, I wanna infuse that. When I when I start my own rehabilitation center. Okay. So you're planning on starting your own center? Rehabilitation center. Nice. I think the, I think the first one is gonna 
gonna be in San Diego. I'm glad that you're doing that. Yeah. Get back. I, from everything that I've been through in life, you know, at 43, I'm just trying to find my purpose in life. Yeah. So I think my purpose in life is to Help share people. my story. And get yeah. Back. It's crazy because I feel like that's like what everyone goes to is like. The people that are the happiest are the people that have found their purpose. They're doing something they love while they're helping other people, and it just comes back to you tenfold. You know, it's like a boomerang. So that's what that's what I've learned. Like the podcast has been a really big healing thing for me, just in life. It's been like three years now, but the more I learn, the more I just grow, and like I meet amazing people, and I now I can help my family and people around me because now I have new education and new ways. You know what I mean? And that's why I get I'm hard on people because I'm like, look, we got access to all this information all this knowledge all this healing you need to take advantage of it we all got to start at some point the well, earlier you start the better yeah, I think when, when we get to the point in life when we can take when we understand and take advantage of our relationships with people that we know that's a good place to be in so 2023 what's going on this year this work any big any big just work 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 I, Trying to get my documentary started. Put it put out there. Have you written any books? Have you written any books? Yeah, I've written a book. It's called From Darkness to Light. The New York Times bestseller, as a matter of fact. I like the title. You like it? I always said there was like a dark and a light. Yeah. But now I feel like it's it just is. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like there's not really any bad or good, it's just it's just what it is, right? Yeah. I brought um I'll give you, you want a Northern Lights? Sure. Northern Lights? That's a strange too, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give you... Yep, Northern Lights, there you go. <coughs> That's definitely Indica. That's Indica? <laughs> <laughs> you got this shit rolled up already. I had to, because I came from Vegas. And labeled mentally. I label them because I, you know, because I'm testing all the other strains, the samples, yeah. to see what I want to mix this one with. So I had to label them all because I rolled like 11 blunts, you know. So I'm like, I, I'm gonna fucking, I, I want to be able to taste it and be like, all right, maybe this one won't mix, maybe it will, you know. I gotta come out. I gotta come out with two more strains. Huh? I gotta come out with two more strains. Yeah. So when I get when I get back to, um... where's your home base? L.A. I live in Calabasas. So when I get back to LA, I gotta, uh, I gotta taste the strings. That's exciting though, I like it. It's a fun process. Okay, cause this gelato I know is gonna put me out. You got a sativa in there or no? Uh, right, I'm gonna save this. Yeah? Save this one. I'm looking for my... Tony! You got the cereal milk? Oh yeah. She gonna help me pick the next two strings. What kind of drink? Okay. I think they, I think they got some drinks over there. I'm gonna come try them out. I'm gonna come try them out though. Hi. <laughs> you got a lighter? Alright, I'm gonna light your I'm gonna light the cereal milk. Yeah. That's your steak. What's your favorite strain to smoke? I really like like a Jack Herrera type. Jack Herrera? Yeah, I love the terpinaline and I love the, I love it. So I'm we just smoked apricot mimosa, which is my genetic for my strain. And now I'm trying to add something to it. Yeah. So I gave him Northern Lights. What is that? Uh, uh, Headwrap? Mm -hmm. What do you feel about Jack Herrera? I love them. All right, go. They, roll, just, they roll just like normal. I just ones. like yeah. I just I got we know. 
you get, you get used to the. We can start a line like that, but I don't get, get used the hemp to the. Alright, we gonna switch out? We can start a line like that. Alright. If, if, if we could get a hemp wrap that burn like a black wrap, that burn like a black So how can we find that? Once you find that, we come out Cereal with a Cereal milk? Anybody else? Good. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Alright, and we're back. What's up? Consumption Park in Arizona. I'm live in Phoenix, high as fuck. I'm smoking cereal milk, Odom cannabis. <laughs> um, I'm now live with Black Nails. How, How you doing, doing over How there? Doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to see you again. Right. Welcome. How Thank you feeling? Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Thanks for coming up. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank Thank you for showing up, my okay. brother. That's what's up. So I know I tried to give this to you. You said he was high as fuck already. I'm high what as you been smoking on? What you been doing? Good shit. You cereal been milk, gelato. All the good shit. Okay. Do you I mean, do dabs or like flour? What's your thing? Just flour. I can't fuck with the dabs. Me either. I'm scared of them. Right. So. I just did that's why I said that's gotta be like an end of the night. I don't gotta go drive or do nothing. I just go right. right. But I, I don't want to go right to bed. I like no, to enjoy my I life. I want to stay up. Right. I, mean, I don't want to go to sleep. Okay. We on, we on the same level then. Okay. So um, tell me a little bit about yourself. Producer. Uh, producer. Work with Eminem, Dr. Dre, uh, Kendrick Lamar. Uh, whole bunch of people really. It was across the board with it, you know? Live in Atlanta, born in Syracuse. I'm uh, basically in LA a lot right now because of the whole Dre Eminem thing. Okay. You know what I mean? I'm also at Red Quorum uh, on the music side of things. We sponsored this festival right so here. So you're gonna be on Red Coral too? I'm already on Red Coral. You late to the party, man. Like, well, you didn't never welcome me, shit. That's Quinn's <laughs> fault and Larry's fault. <laughs> Larry, where's the introduction? <laughs> Quinn, come from behind the camera. You know how to introduce introduction. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well now I know that we family. Yeah, we family. Yeah. You even know I'm your distant cousin. Okay. You know? So tell me about your creative process. Like, what, how um, do you, is there anything specific that you do to get into? I smoke first. Okay. I smoke, get in my zone, and then I just look for new sounds. Because I think, I believe I know when I'm high, I hear different sounds. Right. It's a good and a bad situation. Some days I wake up the next day, I'm like, okay, that's hot. Some days I wake up, I'm like, yo, I was high as fuck when I made that. Fucking horrible. So I like being high when I do creation stuff when I'm creating because it brings a whole other element to music to me. Right. Yeah. You know. I mean, I feel like being high goes with creativity, you know? Hand in hand. I, you know, I never used to connect it before because my creative side wasn't out when right. I was younger, right? Mm -hmm. But now that I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, it makes sense. Yeah, it's like, if you want to take your stuff to another level, you can't be on Earth atmosphere. You got to be outside of Earth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to think of some weird shit to think of to do. Right. That's going to keep you creative. You know what I mean? So that's about it. Okay. So what do you got for 2023? Any um, big projects? Anything oh, yeah. Whenever Eminem drops his album, I got two on there. Working on Snoop Dogg's album. Um, working with Schoolboy Q on his project. Working with Conway. Uh, so Eminem's coming out with a new album? Oh yeah. I feel like the world is going to be fucking... Oh yeah. yeah. What is it coming out? Do we know? Okay. I, I can't... Okay. I'll All get right. in trouble. I'm just happy I You're heard trying it, to get me in like, trouble, Angela. Yeah. You're trying to get me hurt. in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have children? Yeah, I got two kids. I got a boy and a girl. My girl runs the house. You know how that go. You're a daughter. Runs the house. My son is like a spitting image of me. Are you, is Uncle there Al. anything you're scared of though? Like with your daughter, with your daughter, do you treat like women differently now that you have a daughter or anything? Hell yeah. Like it's like with your son, you would kill for your son, but you would die for your daughter. You know what I'm saying? Where that daughter, she just brings out a certain element as a father to be her protector no matter what. So I just love being a dad overall. I mean, I'm a girl's dad. I mean, my son, he's cool. But my daughter, she's like my pride and joy. That's my, that's my sweetheart. Okay. Yeah. So is there anything you're teaching your kids, like, important that you didn't learn when you were growing up? Yeah, I'm teaching my kids how to play piano. They speak Japanese. Uh, you can speak Japanese? Hell yeah, I can't speak it. They can. <laughs> I, mean, I, I can do, I can do bow shit like that. That's about it. Uh, Japanese. Uh, they're half Persian, so they know Farsi. Uh, I'm teaching them how to play instruments, of course. And I mean, in basketball, so I'm teaching them everything I didn't know as a kid. And I mean, now I know as an adult, I'm trying to pass that off to them so they can pass it off to their kids. Nice. Yeah. 
Is there anyone that you want to work with that you haven't worked with yet? He want to get me in the booth. <laughs> yeah. Lamar <laughs> always want to talk about he want to get in the booth. Right, right now, come this, on. Yeah, I'll tell you like this. <laughs> this is my brother, sir. We live together. He had access to a studio for a whole year and a half. And then how, many, how, many th how many songs do you think we made <laughs> in a <the> year? <laughs> Plus he couldn't fit in my booth. Now you're too late. You had a key the yeah. whole time. Yeah. I was shocked. He wasn't high enough. <laughs> That's what it was. Now you got to smoke Odom Sometimes cannabis you know, in the booth. Right. Yeah, but uh... Shout out to the cereal milk. It wasn't the Odom cannabis. That's what it was. That's what it was. Right. Shameless right. plug. It wasn't the Odom cannabis. Got one. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it was. But yeah, like I said, overall, like... I just try to stay, you know, motivated. You know what I mean? Inspired. Elevated. Sometimes weed inspires me. I can just be some chilling shit. I might smoke some. Then I'm, I'm inspired to do something. It's like my inspired to get your ass busted in the game, right? Yeah, a lot, a lot of that. But we kind of even though. You know what I mean? But it definitely inspires and motivates me. I'm not saying I can't do without it, but it enhances my creativeness, like I said earlier today. Right. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love being able to be a pothead. I love, I love that we can have these events too, you know? Like yeah, we need more events. So, uh, Red Coral, we need more events like this so we can smoke weed in public places. All right? No, That's I like that, too. <laughs> yeah, right. pass that. Yeah. How was that? Good. Good? Yeah. What kind is this? Northern Lights. Who rolled this blunt? Me. Okay. I know he didn't roll. He can't roll blunt for shit. <laughs> I know. I was like, Lamar roll this shit. <laughs> All mine are like uniform, pretty much. It's all right. <laughs> it's all right. I like the hemp wraps. So you enjoying yourself out here? Yeah, I'm having fun. It's okay. definitely good. This is the game tomorrow, right? The game is tomorrow. Who you got in the game? Who's going to win tomorrow? I'm going to just, I don't care. I don't really don't care, but I'm going to have to go with birds because I'm Jersey and it's like right there. I think Philly might win. Yeah, Philly might win. I mean, Philly might win. I'm just waiting for the Philly people to roll up. Like, yeah, I thought this was gonna be a crowd I everywhere. Was gonna see, yeah. be a couple fights here and there, but it, it didn't happen. I appreciate y'all being here, though. Mm -hmm. Boom. Thank you for your time. Yes. Bam. We'll smoke. I'll smoke a dab maybe like later, later. I gotta like get through. So you live in Jersey still? I'm in Vegas now. Oh, you're in Vegas. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. It's all right. <laughs> Quality of life is nice, but yeah. I just miss the beach. Yeah. You know, I think I'm gonna have to go to Florida next. What part of Florida? Probably like somewhere on the Caribbean side. Okay. Because I, I like the Caribbean better than the Pacific. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Me too. Me or too. The Gulf. Yeah. So I tell you like this: I need to go smoke some more. I'm gonna go back to the tent. You're more than welcome to go back to the tent. Okay. I'm gonna make it over there eventually. Make it over there. <laughs> Thank you, love. Nice, nice seeing you. All right. We out. Bam. I ain't talking about painting a picture. This is scribble for the soul. When I was a young kid, man, my dribble was cold. So that means I always been ballin' like Jones. Whatever block I step on, I call it my home. I'm left alone. I'm fighting inner demons. My mind spent like a spree well. Shot him in his neck and his back. Gave him that ease out. Just found out what a pre-sale was. I'm levitating. Closing line of retail love. I'm hella faded shit.